Happy Thursday, Eagles Nation. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Bird Buzz. I'm your host, Stephen Hellman here. No Tom Oresco this time. And I just want to address this right away. As you can see, I'm sitting at the corner of my table. The lighting in the middle of my room is terrible. And I would normally move the table. That's what a rational person would do. However, I'm still not allowed to lift more than five pounds because of my back surgery. Thus, I'm sitting at this angle. So that's why I'm over here. If you're wondering why is he sitting like that, that's why. I tried everything I could. Couldn't move the table, can't lift more than five pounds, so this is where I'm going to be. Um, eventful week for the Eagles. I thought it was going to be a boring week, but then I saw that Jordan Matthews in, and Zach Ertz and Sam Bradford are at Sam Bradford's house in Oklahoma, and they are training together. If you follow Jordan Matthews on Snapchat, you know what's up. At, at JMAT, JMAT, JMAT. Give this guy a follow if you don't, because he is documenting this whole entire experience of them working out and training. And it's just funny because you get it's like a behind the scenes, like the special features of a DVD where you just get to see everything that's going on. And I think <laughs> things that Gertz and Sam Bradford are probably annoyed by it, but Jordan Matthews is like a little kid just Snapchat and everything. So give him a follow. It was great. On Tuesday, he actually took over to Eagles Twitter and Snapchatted their whole entire day from um, the morning they woke up to the workouts to to dinner to hanging out at the crib. So it was it was really cool to see. Um, and, uh, and he's got this Heisman talk where he just sits with uh, Sam Bradford's Heisman Trophy and just asks some questions and gets gets some wisdom from uh, from the Heisman Trophy. I don't I, I don't know. It's just it's just funny to see. Go check it out. It's awesome. Also, Eagles signed Ruben Randall to a one year deal. Um, I like it. It's one million guaranteed, maximum of three million over the course of next season. So I think it's uh, going to be all performance based. But I love the deal. I mean that's. Now you got a solid receiving core, and if Jordan Matthews can establish himself as number one receiver, I think you got a really great shot of you know having. You got everyone's a threat. Everyone's a threat on this team, and it's gonna. I I think it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. So we're gonna dive right into the bird buzz questions. Um, first question is at Matthew Newell ninety seven. Will Sammy Brads be one of the top QBs next year? I like the name Sammy Brads. I heard a lot of different things. Sammy sleeves. Sam, you know, all these things. But you know what? That's a, that's a good one. Um. Will he be a top QB? I'm going to put him in the top half. I think he's going to be in the top 16. Um, I think he's going to have a good, a, a really good year. I don't think it's going to be like MVP level, but you know, because there's just so many good quarterbacks. But I, well, not so many good, but there's just so, there's you just got Aaron Rodgers, Cam Newton, who those guys could win in any single year. So I do think he will be in the in the top half though for sure. Um, at Philadelphia Eagles 2016, please predict a wide receiver depth chart. Um, I'm going to go Jordan Matthews, Ruben Randall, Nelson Aguilar, Chris Gibbons, Josh Huff. And um, I think that I think that's your best way to put it. Um, at Philadelphia Eagles 93, since the Eagles have a lot of wide receivers, do you think the Eagles will put Huff on the trade block before the draft? Uh, I'm going to say no, just because I don't think they can get much value for him. And I look at this year for Huff as it's his make or break season. You're paying him at nothing on his rookie contract to be on this team. So I do think that if he can make some big plays, then he's gonna then he's gonna stay with the team. But if he doesn't, then he's probably not you're probably not gonna keep him around. I mean if they get a, a decent compensation for him, maybe, but the guy was a third round pick and hopefully you can hopefully he can show you a little more. He had some flashy plays this year, so it'll be interesting to see what he can do, but I do think his role will be limited, which is a good thing because of just, you know, where he's at on the depth chart. Um, next question, at Dylan Dockermare asks, what position are we in need of most? I'm going to go, I'm still going to go left guard. I think you need to figure out what you're going to do at left guard next year. Um, so yeah, I, and hopefully they can address that in the draft, but we got a lot of draft questions, so I'm going to save my draft analysis for that. Um, at the enlightened one asks, names aside, pick three positions you would like to see the Eagles tape with, tape with their top three picks. Uh, I'm going to go first, offensive lineman, set, um, well, with your first pick in the third round, I'm going to go cornerback. And your second pick in the third round, I'm going to go quarterback. That's what I think they should do. Um, at jbrad13, do you think we can make it to the Super Bowl in the next five years? Absolutely, Justin. We will make it to the Super Bowl in the next five years. I think we're building a team that can win long term. And I love. I, it's hard to hate what the Eagles are doing right now. It's really hard to hate. Um, at the great white Mexican asked, do you think the do you think the hate Randall is getting right now from the Giants fans is a concern? For how well he will do with the Eagles, I think. I mean, I think this is a classic case of let your haters be your motivators. He kind of fell out of favor with the Giants, but you know what? He every time he played us, Ruben Randall looks pretty good. I mean, I, I thought he killed us a lot, he torched us. So I think it's I think it's a great move. Um, 
I just think, you know, the Giants got a little sick of him. He was a second-round pick, and I just don't think he lived up to the hype. I, He seemed to me like he was a good player. It's just he didn't live up to the hype. I know he had some problems attending meetings um, in, tw in the 2014 season. It was a little late to some meetings, so I just think maybe he just kind of fell out of favor, but it just kind of seemed, I feel like he, Ruben, probably thinks that the Giants just sort of like gave up on him or didn't want him because he's only 24 years old, so they just let him play in his rookie deal made some good plays for him, and then just just let him walk. I, I don't know. I find that weird. So there's definitely something that we don't know, but it will be interesting to see. I think he's going to be a good fit for us, and I think he's going he's gonna to help us beat the Giants like we have been every single year for the past few years. So it's going to be it's gonna be interesting to see. Um, next question. Uh, at Yeezus Eagles 2, 2817 asks, Should we draft Ezekiel Elliott or Vernon Hargreaves with the eighth pick in the first round? Uh, if they're both there, assuming they're both there, I go Vernon Hargreaves, but you know what, I, it's hard. It's going to be hard to pass up on Ezekiel Elliott, he's a great talent, um, I think other needs are there, I think you can go offensive lineman, not to shove your question aside, but um, I, I mean if they get Ezekiel Elliott, listen, I'm not going to be mad, I'm going to embrace it, the dude's, the dude's going to be a beast, but I just I just think you have other needs, bigger needs than running back right now. So I, I think you you know you get an offensive lineman, you get a cornerback. I think that's something that would come in and make an immediate impact. Um, at not that Ezekiel Elliott wouldn't make immediate impact, he would, but I'm saying I think you have things that you need more. <laughs> that yeah. Um, at Philly Boy 1999 asks, with the new and improved wide receiving core and offensive line, do you think that Sam Bradford would have a career making making season that will make the Eagles want to extend him long term? I do. I think the Eagles. Did this? What the Eagles did with this two-year deal is, all right, so we're signed to a two-year deal. If Sam Bradford kills it, and then we're going to draft a quarterback. If Sam Bradford kills it this year, boom, there's your franchise quarterback. If he doesn't, you have plan B, which is the quarterback we're going to draft in the later rounds to groom. So that's why I think that they have that what they have here. They have two chances to get a franchise quarterback. And I do think that Sam Bradford is going to perform. If, as long as he, I mean, his biggest Beer is injured. That's it. And the guy is definitely has an NFL arm. He can make reads. He makes good decisions. It's just can the guy stay healthy? I mean, that's that's all it is. And I think he does this year. And I do think that he will be extended to a long-term contract at the, end, at the end of the year. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. And that's why the Eagles made this deal. I think that it shows that, yeah, we believe in you, Bradford, but show us you can stay healthy. That's what this deal is saying. Because you know if he has a good year, they will extend him. They they couldn't. And then that quarterback that you're grooming, you could end up trading eventually if Sam Bradford works out. You, you got options. I mean, if Sam Bradford's only 28 years old, he can play for another 7, 10 years if he doesn't get hurt. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do. I want him to be the long-term solution. I think he's I think he's the guy. I think this. I think we found the one. It's like, it's a love story. When you found the one, you know. And I think you know. Yeah, he's a little goofy and quirky, but I think we got the one here. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Um, Join me on Monday for a weekly chirp, and uh, yeah, um, if you comment below with who you think the Eagles need to take in the draft. I love seeing what everyone says, so everyone's got a different opinion. So comment below with who you think the Eagles should take with the first pick in the NFL draft. No, I ask this question all the time, but I'm just curious. All right, guys, see you on Monday. Have a great day.